Margo, I've heard a lot about reading levels and a group called the Early Literacy Reading Committee. Who is in this committee and what does it have to do with reading levels? Well, Lisa, the Early Literacy Committee is comprised of a group of district leaders and teachers, all here in Alden ISD. The purpose of the Early Literacy Committee is to create a district-wide focus on early literacy, essentially learning to read in grades K through two. And by doing so, the number of students reading on grade level by third grade will increase and the literacy focus can then shift to reading to learn. There's a positive correlation between a student's independent reading level and IRL and academic success in upper grades. A district-wide focus on early literacy will provide instructional coherence for teachers, teacher teams, and campus leadership by creating a systematic approach to monitor student reading progress in the primary grades. So that has me thinking, Lisa, what does that involve? Well, Margo, teachers will collect and analyze reading data in order to make the best instructional decisions for the students we serve in Aldine. District-wide curriculum and instruction decisions will be made on reading data as well. We will use running records and individual student reading profiles in place of reading district common assessments in grades kindergarten, first, and the fall of second grade. What do you suppose, Margo, are the responsibilities of the teachers? Hmm. Well, Lisa, I think that teachers should continue to conduct running records throughout the entire school year. Running records are taken most often at the earlier stages of reading. So children who are not progressing at the expected rate should be assessed even more frequently. The process of conducting a running record includes the teacher taking notes on the student's errors and corrections when he or she is reading a leveled text. From this data, teachers can plan lessons to meet the needs of students and collect data to show growth over time. Teachers will record the student's independent reading level on the child's reading card on the Readaway folder and enter the information on the Google spreadsheet at the end of each nine weeks. Bilingual teachers are expected to take an IRL in Spanish and in English. So Shamilia, what are the forms that I will use to record the student information and collect the student data with? Great question, Sonia. You will use the district Google Sheet for each classroom of students that you serve. Enter both the independent reading level and words per minute for BOI, first, second, third, and fourth nine weeks on the Google Sheet. The Google Sheet will automatically populate with a color indicating below level, approaching level, meets level, and master's level according to the grade level independent reading rubric. Each nine weeks, you will also complete a reflection form for every classroom of students you serve. Use this piece to analyze student data, set goals for future instruction, and address potential gaps. Remember to consult your literacy coach and your admin team regarding deadlines and turn-in processes for your reflection form. Now, Sonia, what should I use for special population IRLs? That's a great question, Shamilia. So you will consult with your literacy coach and campus administrators for further support in accommodating those students. In addition, for bilingual students who are new arrivals, there are specific rubrics that can be used specifically for those students so that they do not fail due to English language proficiency.